tortilla chips, plantains, and tater tots. From sea to shining sea, our country has come up with more different takes on the nacho than you could ever imagine. And we're here to help you navigate through it all. Here is where you can find the best nachos in each state. According to Beham Now, El Barrio Birmingham serves a variety of delicious foods, but they also serve up the absolute best nachos in all of Alabama, thanks to its unique chips crowned with signature nacho toppings. Instead of standard chips, the uniquely delicious nachos at El Barrio are made out of plantain chips. It's a tasty twist on a classic dish, and also packs a decent nutritional punch thanks to plantain's hearty dose of vitamins and minerals. If you find yourself in the great, icy expanse of Alaska, make a point to check out Zalos Mexican Grill. TripAdvisor reviewers are head over heels in love with the restaurant's super nachos, fiery salsa, and authentic Mexican cuisine, dubbing Zalos Mexican Grill the best Mexican food in Anchorage. With oodles of meat and cheese, plenty of spicy jalapenos, and crunchy, topping-drenched chips, their nachos are absolutely loaded. Although they're big enough to share, you might want a plate all to yourself, so we hope your wallet can match your appetite. There is no shortage of stellar Mexican cuisine in Arizona, but Cocina 10 Kitchen at the Crescent Ballroom is next-level fresh. According to the Phoenix New Times, you can expect a dazzling array of Mexican faves like tortilla soup, tacos, big burritos, and delicious nachos. The I-10 nachos here are a lot better than what you would expect from a bar, and there's a reason for that. The menu is the brainchild of acclaimed chef Chris Bianco. Get them piled high with pinto beans, three different types of cheese, fresh guac, sour cream, and a light sprinkle of cilantro. Little Rock, Arkansas's Heights Taco and Tamale Company offers something that you won't just see anywhere. Sizzling and scrumptious nacho skillets, packed with goodies like smoked pork and char-grilled chicken and ribeye on a bed of lime-spiked salty chips. According to TripAdvisor, the nachos are ace, with meat lovers lining up to taste the char-grilled ribeye nacho skillets, crowned with signature salsas, sour cream, guac, and a whole lot of melty cheese. Vamos Vamos of California specializes in two particular things, frosty margaritas and bold plates of fresh nachos. Eater Los Angeles notes that Vamos Vamos caters to meat eaters, vegetarians, gluten-free diners, and vegans with a huge selection of innovative Mexican classics. Favorites include classic nachos with two types of cheese, nachos with braised, succulent pork shoulder, and fiery gluten-free chili verde nachos packed with hatch chilies and a lot of sass. The Centennial State's La Loteria Taqueria gives hungry Coloradoans a traditional taste of Tex-Mex thanks to its bevy of classic dishes, including nachos. According to iHeart, La Loteria Taqueria's nachos are the stuff of legends, packed with a laundry list of customizable ingredients and served on crisp chips. Customers can create their own nacho experience, choosing from traditional ingredients like chicken, beef or shrimp, and spicing things up with jalapenos and pico de gallo. Add on a few generous handfuls of cheese and a dollop of sour cream, and you have a winning plate. Connecticut's Archie Moores has multiple locations throughout the state, and according to the Connecticut Post, all of them have one thing in common – they serve some of the best nachos around. Smart patrons know to arrive hungry so they can feast on massive plates of shareable nachos crowned with succulent chicken or pulled pork, spicy sauces, cheese, and jalapenos. Get specialty nachos or customize them to your liking. You can't go wrong with anything on the menu. At Klondike Kate's in Delaware, nachos aren't a side order or afterthought, they're a central item on the menu. As only in your state notes, this amiable watering hole has several inventive types of nachos, like barbecue chicken, buffalo, or seafood-based nachos piled high with crab or shrimp. The cream of the nacho crop has got to be a stack that you can't get anywhere else. Trash can nachos with fried onions, bacon, chicken fingers, and tons of fixings. And on the off chance you need more carbs, there are fries on there too. At Klondike Kate's Restaurant and Bar, we believe food tastes better with a smile and good company. According to ESPN, Sweet Liberty has the Sunshine State's best nachos, a gargantuan, towering platter of crispy nacho chips, vegetables, and sauce. Although Sweet Liberty's nachos don't have their traditional heaps of meat and cheese, they more than make up for it with creative ingredients and bold flavors. Sweet Liberty's vegan cauliflower nachos with avocado crema, fresh veggies, and a bright sprinkle of pomegranate seeds will even please diehard carnivores. Manuel's Tavern in Georgia derives a lot of its appeal from being an accessible, laid-back place to feel at home and get some good food, but patrons have a special soft spot for the nachos. This unassuming local bar is Georgia's best place to load up on piping hot nachos served with tons of crunchy vegetables, velvety sour cream, fiery homemade cheese, and jalapeno sauce. Grab some nachos in paradise at Duke's Waikiki. Celebrated in Foursquare reviews, these nachos take your traditional Tex-Mex fare up a notch by giving hungry customers the option to swap out standard meats for tender Kahlua pork. 
The pork gives Duke's nachos an island vibe, working in beautiful tandem with creamy, mild Colby Jack cheese, hot jalapenos, and decadent guacamole. Duke's Waikiki might be a long swim away from Mexico, but their nacho game hits all the right flavor notes. For unconventional nachos with an added layer of crunch, check out Idaho's Mexican Crazy Corn. Here, you'll find spicy stacks of nachos topped with the restaurant's signature roasted corn. According to East Idaho News, Mexican Crazy Corn owners Chris and Richard Johnson use fresh-grown corn, tomatoes, and signature queso in their dishes. Now, we do one thing different. We stack these all vertically. So we pack the chips in there, then we go ahead and put our homemade white queso on. When you chow down on a plate of Mexican crazy corn nachos, you'll get tons of tantalizing traditional flavors, plus the added sweetness of the roasted corn, which they grow themselves. TripAdvisor championed Chicago's Upton's Break Room, now known as Liberation Kitchen, at a solid 4.5 stars out of 5, and this restaurant is truly a vegan paradise in the Windy City. Liberation Kitchen specializes in traditional comfort food with a completely meat-free twist, offering burgers, mac and cheese, and towering plates of nachos. According to Axios, the nachos nail the crunch factor, and the vegan cheese, spicy and savory toppings, and silk and crema really tie it all together. Top with some seasoned seitan for a complete meal. At La Margarita in Indiana, the nacho philosophy seems to be go big, cheesy and delicious, or go home. iHeart says that La Margarita's nachos are made for people who think the best part of the nacho plate is the galaxy of toppings, with sky-high mounds of meats, pickled vegetables, herbs, and fresh, creamy guacamole. If you're feeling extra fancy, you can always combine the chorizo and chicken for an unparalleled comfort food experience. You might not think a place called the Irish Democrat would have traditional nachos, but if you're looking for cheesy, crispy, salsa-top comfort food in Iowa, this bar and grill is the place to go. According to Only In Your State, the macho nachos are where it's at, covered in green peppers, oozing layers of cheese, chicken or beef, and fresh vegetables. If you want more of an Irish take on the same flavors, try the Irish skins, which feature nacho toppings stuffed into crispy potato skins. Hey, is this heaven? No, it's Iowa. Kansas is more known for barbecue than nachos, especially the kind of nacho served at Albero Cafe. This Wichita, Kansas restaurant, which the New York Daily News once called the best Italian restaurant in Kansas, is home to, you guessed it, a famous plate of Italian nachos. In lieu of traditional tortilla chips, Albero's uses pasta chips, essentially fried pieces of cooked pasta. The plate is topped with a blend of Italian cheeses and a Mediterranean tomato relish. You can also add chicken, ground beef, or Italian sausage. Among those who've reviewed it, the appetizer is a near-universal hit. Reviewers on Yelp and TripAdvisor described the nachos as incredible, with one person claiming that they had dreams about the dish. But the most noteworthy praise has come from Wichita Eagle food writer Denise Neal, who wrote, I couldn't stop thinking about the Italian nachos. We ate this pile of goodness until it was almost gone, and made plans to return some night to eat only the nachos with a bottle of wine. Salt Goods' decadent nachos combine three comfort food classics — cheese, juicy steak, and beer — into a molten and magical experience topped with scallions, tangy lime, and plenty of hot jalapenos. With colossal portions and on-point ratio of toppings to chips, these nachos are fully equipped and ready to satisfy any size of appetite. The West 6th Beer Cheese Nachos enjoy rave reviews and are one prominent example of what Kentucky tourism calls an adventuresome food pairing. Eater New Orleans notes that Juan's Flying Burrito cleverly puts a spin on traditional Mexican food, injecting a bit of the bayou into south-of-the-border faves. The mix certainly pays off, with glowing TripAdvisor reviews that cite Juan's Flying Burrito as having the best nachos ever. The secret is in the amazing variety of different ingredients, including grilled vegetables, fresh fruit, creamy avocado, and tons of cheeses. Try the Kamehameha nachos for a porky, tropical treat. Maine's El Rodeo offers nachos supreme that live up to their name and are designed to be shareable, although a single starving nacho lover could certainly scarf them all down. According to the Bend Bulletin, these nachos are cloaked in piles of molten cheese before being topped with plenty of vegetables, beans, and a generous serving of sour cream. You'll find tons of surprises in the super nachos, including refried beans, jalapenos, and meat. Maryland's Trippy Tacos crowns each platter of tasty nachos with trippy sauce, a complex yet mild sauce that perks up the layers of pico de gallo, tender meat, and satiny crema. With several varieties of meat-based nachos like steak, al pastor, and chicken, Trippy Tacos has the carnivores covered. They'll also keep vegetarians happy with stacked veggie nachos. Yelp reviews laud the fresh combos, creativity, and convenience, all topped with a hearty dose of their signature trippy sauce. TripAdvisor and Open Table reviewers cite Somerville's Painted Burrow as having the best nachos in Massachusetts. 
There are riotous celebration of fresh guacamole, thinly sliced, flavorful slaw, chipotle-flavored mayonnaise, and three different types of cheeses to tie everything together. Crowned with a generous serving of fresh chorizo, these nachos hit the right flavor and texture notes with a freshness and authentic spin that brings loyal customers back again and again. For a truly epic experience, pair them with a signature margarita. Michigan's Rico's is a local classic and fan favorite, fusing dive restaurant style with excellent food for a relaxing but memorable meal. According to M Live, the two things you absolutely must get at Rico's are tacos and nachos, especially Rico's famous double decker nachos filled to the brim with cheese, meat, and vegetables. These mammoth nachos are big enough for a crowd, easily satisfying four to six of your hungriest friends. Do you like nachos? Yes, Mr. Ford. According to CBS News, Grace's Tex-Mex has the absolute best nachos in the state, the Cindy nachos. Although the fixings are conventional, the tortillas are really what takes these nachos to the next level, with big, soft, hearty bites of homemade flour tortilla chips. Thanks to a tried, tested, and utterly delicious family recipe, Grace's Tex-Mex manages to elevate the nacho game. Mississippi's O Lucky Bees serves up the best loaded nachos in the state, with tons of hearty toppings that range from every protein under the sun that you could possibly imagine. According to Yahoo, O Lucky Bees nachos gets their molten cheesy consistency from shredded cheese, queso, and hot nacho cheese, so you get a variety of different textures and flavors in each bite, and other interesting toppings like catfish. Top it all off with a dollop of sour cream and some fiery salsa, and you have a pristine piece of the good stuff. According to TripAdvisor reviews, the grub at Gettin' Basted is nacho usual fare, with savory and splendid barbecue pulled pork nachos atop crispy wontons covered in mounds of jack cheese. This Branson favorite made waves from the day it opened, beginning as a food truck fave and eventually moving to its current brick-and-mortar location. The basted nachos are hearty enough to satisfy even the hungriest customers and most discerning barbecue lovers. In Big Sky Country, everything is bigger, including the nachos. Montana's Tamarack Brewing has grandiose servings of cheesy, meat, and veggie-laden nachos that TripAdvisor reviewers celebrate as the absolute best grub in Missoula. True to brewery form, their keg nachos come in a huge half keg that only in your state deems absolutely delightful. Bring your appetite and friends, because there's no way one person is polishing off a single or even half order alone. If you've got a serious hankering for nachos in Nebraska, head to Julio's for the works, a loaded and luscious pile of pepper-filled, meaty, cheesy goodness on top of chips with a cool scoop of guacamole on top. With fresh tomatoes, briny olives, and a generous helping of gooey cheese, the works lives up to its titular name in glorious fashion. For those who want to get off the beaten path, the Cajun chicken and brisket nachos are also winners. According to the Omaha World Herald, Julio's nacho renditions are a local fave. Cheese these nachos. <laughs> <laughs> With a name like Nacho Daddy, you know that this Vegas hotspot takes its nachos seriously. And according to Yelp reviewers, the huge plates don't disappoint. Enjoy the frosty margaritas and mouth-watering options like Fiesta nachos with chicken and cheese or the Golden Knights nachos with premium steak and mushrooms, and vegan options available. With so many varieties, you'll be spoiled for choice on the Strip. Whether you're looking for a beautiful rendition of conventional nachos or a fancy, out-of-the-box taste treat with lobster, Nacho Daddy has you covered. Panther Pub & Grill knows that when it comes to nachos, it pays to go big, which is why it serves colossal plates of comfort food nachos without skimping on the quality. TripAdvisor reviewers agree, calling these stacked plates the best nachos in the state of New Hampshire. Catering to college kids and bar food aficionados, Panther Pub & Grill nails its grub, and there's no way that you'll leave dissatisfied. According to NJ.com, Taqueria Mexican Street Kitchen is the spot to get your nacho fix, serving unconventional riffs on nachos, including a dessert option. All the food at Taqueria is crafted with the utmost care, from the fresh beans and bright salsa to the perfectly cooked proteins. Satisfy your sweet tooth with the Nutella nachos, a beautiful celebration of rich Nutella and cinnamon sugar-coated flour tortilla chips. La Choza hits a lot of high notes, from the accessible and warm family-oriented atmosphere to the simple and deceptively delicious food. The nachos at La Choza aren't fancy, but they don't need to be. According to Only In Your State, it's the traditional ingredients and lovingly crafted plates that make La Choza a stellar New Mexican restaurant. Stop in for nachos piled high with cheese, fresh chili sauce, pinto beans, and protein. A cooling spoonful of guacamole ties it all together. New York's Calexico's nachos are the stuff of your wildest dreams, with incredible sauces, fabulous toppings, and luxe fixings that riff on traditional nacho plates but give you a little something extra at the same time. Eater concurs, deeming these nachos a delicious marriage of two different cheeses, sweet charred corn, beans, proteins, and fresh pico de gallo. They're a slice of Tex-Mex heaven in the Big Apple, crafted with care and served piping hot. 
iHeart champions the nachos at Raleigh Times Bar, noting that the contrast between velvety, molten cheese and fresh guac and crisp tortillas give these five-star nachos their zing. It's the protein that takes it to the next level, though. At Raleigh Times Bar, you can get flavorful nachos topped with chicken tinga or pork barbacoa. Fresh cilantro and jalapenos add some vibrant green color and zestiness to the plate. Two words define North Dakota's Blarney Irish Pub – Irish nachos. Instead of conventional chips, Blarney Irish Pub uses waffle fries as the hearty backdrop for a comforting blanket of sharp cheddar, green onion, tomatoes, protein, and jalapenos. The contrast between the fries and toppings gives these nachos a unique texture and leaves you feeling totally satisfied and full. With rave reviews on TripAdvisor, this comfort food hybrid is well worth crossing state lines for. El Vaquero's Chorizo Nachos put this Ohio Tex-Mex joint on the map thanks to the generous portions of chips and tasty toppings. According to TripAdvisor reviews, you can also get your nachos with shrimp or traditional meats, and however you top them, they're likely to be some of the best you've ever tasted. The Columbus Navigator notes that these nachos are not only top of the line, but they're also kind to your wallet. For the best nachos in Oklahoma, you need to veer off the beaten path and go where the locals dine. Tacoville. Unassuming, unpretentious, and utterly invisible to the casual tourist, Tacoville has the best Tex-Mex grub in the state, including a unique take on nachos with flat fried tortillas, tons of cheese, and plenty of sauce and jalapenos. It's a tasty and traditional little dive that won't break the bank and will deliver big on nacho goodness. It's so good, even the stars stop by. Toby Keith comes here. The Kings of Leon come here. Gary the Foodie calls Expatriate's Nachos one of the most compelling dishes in Portland. And after you taste Expatriate's signature nacho plate, it would be hard to disagree. Piled high with crisp wontons, lemongrass-infused strips of beef, fresh herbs and salsa, they're a Thai-style nod to traditional Mexican fare. TripAdvisor reviewers rave about these chips and also mention that the custom drinks would make Don Draper proud. For sophistication, style, and a big plate of the best nachos in the state, check out Expatriate. At the Keystone State's Elvez, hungry customers can sate their hunger with massive plates of Nacho Mama, Macho Nachos, or simply go for a crunchy bowl of chips with fresh salsa, lime, and jalapenos. From the premium meats to pickled veg, Elvez hits all the spots. And according to TripAdvisor reviews, the portions are no joke. iHeart calls Elvez the best Mexican restaurant in Pennsylvania and notes that the Philly Fay features customized servings of guacamole with yummy add-ins like goat cheese and fire-roasted tomatoes. Tallulah's Taqueria in Rhode Island strikes a good balance between having a sophisticated, artisanal feel and a comfortable vibe. According to the Providence Journal, the seating at Tallulah's is a big part of the draw, as are the breakfast burritos and rapid-to-go service. But as customers on Yelp note, the nachos really set this spot apart from the rest. The nachos at Tallulah's feature queso blanco, radishes, crema, salsa, and your choice of protein. Some great options include barbacoa, shrimp, or chorizo. South Carolina's Kology is the southern state's best place to grab a huge plate of nachos, with TripAdvisor reviewers advising that you must visit if you're a nacho lover. It's fairly easy to see what all the buzz is about. Kology uses incredibly fresh ingredients to craft towering stacks of steaming, cheesy nachos that you can wash down with a signature cocktail or two, or one of the restaurant's craft beers. These nachos have a fun twist as well. They're drizzled with barbecue sauce and topped with coleslaw. It's almost worth making the trip to South Dakota for a massive serving of Cadillac nachos, one of Que Pasa Cantina's indulgent treats. According to Only In Your State, Que Pasa Cantina is the best place to go for Mexican food in South Dakota, and TripAdvisor reviewers agree. In addition to classic nacho toppings like beans, pico de gallo, and cheese, the Cadillac nachos have an unexpected crunchy twist – deep-fried jalapenos. The Memphis native was no stranger to barbecue. If you're born in Memphis, there's something stamped in your DNA about barbecue. Fusing smoky barbecue pulled pork or chicken with a big old plate of nachos is one of Edley's barbecue specialties. The nachos are lauded by TripAdvisor reviewers and combine two beloved comfort food traditions, Tex-Mex nachos and piles of perfectly smoked meat. Topped with delicious sour cream, pico de gallo, barbecue sauce, and a whole heap of melty nacho cheese, if these sumptuous treats don't hit the spot, we're not sure what will. Chacho's Piled Thai Nacho Platters have a huge following in Texas, where the monster portions and bevy of tasty ingredients won the restaurant tons of praise in TripAdvisor reviews. What makes Chacho's Nachos so amazing is a clever but simple combination of three things – standard tasty toppings and proteins, colossal sizes, and prices that won't dent your bank account. For the ultimate experience, try the Monster Kong Nachos, which combine all the proteins on one monstrous bed of chips. Everything is bigger in Texas, including the nachos, and Chacho's has the best and most flavorful in the state. 
If you read the TripAdvisor reviews for Utah's Porcupine Pub and Grill, one glaring thing will stand out to you. You must try the nachos. The nachos at Porcupine Pub and Grill are a cheese lover's dream, gushing with plenty of sharp cheese and topped with scallions, tomatoes, olives, and jalapenos. The thing that Porcupine Pub and Grill truly nails with all of this is the ratio of cheese to chips, ensuring that you get a perfectly portioned bite every time. According to Vermont's local media outlet, Seven Days, El Cortillo Taqueria has a couple of riffs on traditional nachos that will leave you totally satisfied. The breakfast nachos are a great choice, but the signature nachos with hearty black beans, homemade salsa, tangy and spicy jalapenos, and fresh queso are truly a fan favorite. The sour cream on top cuts through some of the savory flavors, making the plate beautifully balanced and brilliantly executed. For vegan nachos that will send your taste buds into the stratosphere, try Virginia's Galaxy Hut. According to Happy Cow, this throwback comfort food joint is proudly vegan-friendly, serving veggie-heavy renditions of all your favorite traditional snacks, including nachos. Northern Virginia Magazine notes that Galaxy Hut's nachos are a novel twist on the traditional recipe, with tater tots instead of chips, and plenty of faux meat toppings, veggies, and luxe sauces like ahi amarillo cashew queso. Tio Babies is a different kind of establishment, catering specifically to clientele under the influence, but the sober folk can enjoy Tio Babies bites too, specifically the mouth-watering wings and amazing nachos. Piled high with queso, smoked tomato, and scallions, Tio Babies nachos are designed to treat your taste buds. Try adding pork adobado or one of the restaurant's inventive vegetarian proteins to take them to the next level. According to Capitol Hill Seattle, founder Will Gordon has a tender spot for nachos, and it certainly shows in the cooking. West Virginia's Black Bear Burritos nachos stand out in the best possible way, thanks to the gargantuan proportions of nachos topped with oh-so-many goodies like homemade buffalo sauce, creamy queso, and crunchy bacon. Grab one of Black Bear Burritos' classic beers, and you have a meal that you'll remember for a long time. West Virginia Tourism calls the restaurant's plate of goodness one of the best nacho plates in West Virginia, thanks to the large portion size and spot-on flavor. According to iHeart, San Pedro Cafe's nachos hit all of the high marks, cementing them as the absolute best in the state. In an inspired move that pairs Caribbean flavors with traditional nachos, San Pedro Cafe manages to create a lovely fusion of ingredients featuring your choice of protein, tropical salsas, and a fiery habanero aioli that will certainly get your attention. You don't really think nachos when you think of a Caribbean restaurant, but as long as you incorporate good flavors that balance it together, I think people are going to be happy. You can go traditional with chicken, experimental with duck, or vegetarian with roasted tomatoes and sweet corn. Top it all with mellow mozzarella and the nacho sing. El Abulito is Wyoming's best spot for real Mexican food that's kind to your wallet and will satisfy any hunger pangs. According to Jackson Hole News & Guide, El Abulito's success stems from its ability to stay true to standard nacho traditions by not swapping in new ingredients or replacing the standard chips with other carb-laced goodies. Instead, you'll get simple yet scrumptious nachos with a thin layer of beans, some cheddar, and a bit of avocado and tomato. 